Hey, today we're doing a version of a recipe we saw over at thebarbecuebible.com. Now you can do this for wings, you can do it for chicken breast. We're using the chicken legs or chicken drumsticks, just like they did at barbecuebible.com. These are maple sriracha glazed chicken legs. What I've got here is I've been brining these chicken legs for six hours. Um, what we've got is two quarts of water, a half a cup of kosher salt. I added a quarter cup of brown sugar. I got about 12 cloves in here. And then you can see we've got uh, four bay leaves. I'm just gonna get all these chicken legs out of here. And then I'm gonna pat them dry with some paper towels to get rid of the excess moisture. The reason you want to dry these guys off, we're going to put them in the smoker, right? And they're going to start eating up, cooking right away. And we don't want that water on there because we want, you know, we're smoking them. We want the crispiest skin that, you know, we can possibly get. So as soon as I get these all dried up, we'll be right back. Now we got these wings all patted dry with the paper towels. And I should have mentioned, the other thing you do when you, when you take these paper towels and wipe them off is you're getting rid of any excess salt that might have been laying around on the chicken from the brine. Now, I'm going to season these today with the Suckle Busters, uh, clucker dust barbecue rub. Look, if you don't have this one for this recipe, don't don't worry about that. Um, just go out and use the chicken, or I shouldn't say go out, use the chicken seasoning that you like the most. Um, the original recipe for what we're making today didn't even call for seasoning the chicken. Uh, but, you know, if you watch my videos, you know I kind of like to layer flavors. You know, you could use salt and pepper, you could use uh, the Stubbs chicken rub. We really like this clucker duster. Anyway, let me just finish getting these uh, seasoned up real quick, and then we'll be right back. All right, for this pit barrel today, I've got four pieces of cherry wood that I'm going to put in here uh, with this chicken. We are going to use the rack here. All right, just going to get all these guys on here. And we are going to cook these legs um, a little hotter, you know, to a higher temperature than we do things like chicken breast. I'm going to take these on up to uh, 175 or 180 um, today. Anyway, we'll see how long it takes. I'm guessing somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour. But um, I'll, I'll let them go 30 minutes or so, and then we'll uh, take the lid off, see how they're doing. All right, let's get the lid on this guy. Checking the chicken after 30 minutes. Oh wow, I think it might take longer than an hour today. Just gonna, I'm sorry, you probably can't see the temperature gauge the way I'm doing this, so I'll try to change it up where you can see it. Folks always wanna see the temperature. I don't know if you can see that or not. 149, 150. So I don't know, maybe it won't take more than an hour. Just the color, I thought it would be darker. Uh, let's check another piece. And again, if you can't see that, um, I apologize. This one says 155 even, 156. So anyway, let's get the lid back on it. Obviously they're not up to the 175, 180 we want to take them. Let's get the sauce going. I've got a stick of butter here we're going to melt down. Now I'm going to add two thirds of a cup of real maple syrup. Oh yeah. And then, for the sriracha sauce, I'm using this ass kicking. Uh, you don't have to use ass kicking. I love this one. If you've watched our videos, any of them that have sriracha, or most of them that have sriracha, this is the one we use. We really, really like this one. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is just simmer this a little bit to get all of these uh, ingredients blended in well together. So let me bring this up to a simmer. I don't expect it'll take five, six, seven minutes. Once I get it up to a simmer and everything's mixed in, we'll cut the heat back and then uh, kind of just keep it warm and wait to glaze that chicken. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. Our chicken is up to 160. So we're gonna do our first layer of glaze on this chicken with that maple sriracha sauce and you can see it is starting to get a nice color on it and uh, I always get asked what's the temperature you're smoking at um, this pit barrel today is running right around 250 
Um, I adjust it a little bit to close the vent down uh, some. So it is, you know, I, in some of my other videos I mentioned it runs about 300. Um, so we cut the airflow down, and like I say, today it's running around 250. So I'll let this go uh, 15 more minutes, which will take us to an hour and a half. We'll then flip it over and glaze the other side. How about that? Been another 15 minutes. Oh yeah, look at the color. All I'm gonna do is turn these chicken legs over. And we're gonna, ooh, look at that. We're gonna sauce up the other side. And then I'll let them go 15 more minutes. We'll check the temp at that point. Here's that maple sriracha sauce. We're just putting on that other layer. <laughs> Man, I'm digging this. It's been another 30 minutes since I put that second um, layer of glaze on. We did 15 minutes on one side and then um, I did uh, 30 on this side. The chicken's registering 175 to 180, depends on you know how thick the piece is. We're going to get these uh, chicken legs off of here, let them cool down for about 10 minutes, and then give them a try. Then I got a little extra sauce, we're just going to come in here. And drizzle, you know, a little on this chicken. Why not? Don't want to waste it. And then you can come in with some green onion or cilantro, whatever you want. I've got a little parsley here just to dress it up. Give it some color. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Let's give this chicken a try. All right, I'm going to just try to cut a piece off so you can see what it looks like. Before I go digging in. Okay, that's what it looks like. Really juicy. Ouch, still very hot. Okay, let's give it a try. <clears throat> oh man. Okay. The first thing you get on the sauce is the sweetness from the maple syrup. Then, as you're enjoying that sweetness and the chicken, the sriracha starts to build up. Oh, I'm telling you, this is full of flavor. Um, so for those of you that don't like a lot of hot sauce, how hot is it? It's probably, uh, for the average person, I'm not talking about one of these pepper heads. For the average person, this is probably uh, at least, a, I'd say about a four on a scale of uh, one to 10. So you could use half the sriracha if you wanted to back off. I mean, my mouth's not on fire, but however long it's been since I took the bite, I can still feel the burn a little bit in the back. This is perfect uh, as far as I'm concerned. Chicken is, oh, I'm telling you, so tender, so moist. I mean, it's dark meat, so it stays moisture, but the brine certainly helped. And this sauce is, is absolutely incredible. Hey, thank you so much for watching another one of our uh, videos. If you're not a subscriber already, I hope you hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down in the comment section below.